gonna be a bit of an adventure. My mom booked a lake house for the next two days down at Big Bear, so we're gonna go there. I don't really know what to expect. I know there's a hot tub which is exciting. I've only been to Big Bear once, so I'm excited. We're gonna play some games. We're gonna do some fun things. If I'm being completely honest, I haven't been feeling the best recently and I'm not really sure why. So I think I just need a change of scenery, being in LA all of the time, every day, where the sun is always shining and nothing really changes. <laughs> it gets a little bit depressing sometimes. So I'm ready. I'm excited to go up to the mountains and stay in a little cabin. The doggies are coming. They're gonna have fun. We're all gonna have fun. I've been trying to find somewhere to get a jewelry holder. So all of my necklaces have just kind of been on the floor and I don't know what to do with them. I'm looking for one to hang on that wall over there, but I haven't been able to find one. I went to Home Goods and I went to Walmart and I was looking for jewelry hangers. So if you guys know where to get a good jewelry hanger, let me know. So this is my bag and I just have some changes of clothes, a bathing suit or a lot of bathing suits. Hello. Um, I have a lot of bathing suits. Oh my gosh, I'm so famous. I don't know why. I always overpack and I always end up forgetting things even when I overpack. But how cute is this bag? I got it at an event one time. So this is what I'm wearing and I feel like I should have gotten a tan before this trip because sister's looking a little bit ghostly. This is my outfit every day. You guys have seen me wear this before. Gray sweatpants, gray sweatshirt, white shirt. It's the huge. I don't know where I got this. <laughs> I think someone sent it to me, but it's me. Are you ready to go on a trip, Smudge? Are you ready to go on a trip, Angel? Oh, you're so cute. Always pour the cereal before the milk. It's important. And we're leaving in like 10 minutes, probably, whenever Debbie finishes doing her makeup. So I will see you guys on the road. So we've been on the road for about an hour and we're driving through the mountains right now. So I have absolutely no signal. It's gonna take us probably another hour to get to the cabin. And we're not exactly sure what the place looks like that we're staying at. It had some mixed reviews. Some people said it was a little bit dirty. <laughs> that's okay. Based on the pictures, and then that's that's mistake number one is going yeah, based on I, the I pictures. Some people said they thought that the pictures made did it justice, basically. You know what? It's an adventure. It's an adventure. We're here to have a good time. Problem riding in the car, but Smudgy gets a little bit nervous. She just needs some love and attention to make her feel safe. carpet right now so the dogs don't go on it. It smells like ravioli and old people. It does. <laughs> it it smells like ravioli and funeral home. <laughs> We're just rearranging the furniture. <laughs> and then I'll give you guys a proper tour once we get settled. So this is the front door and it's only two rooms so there's like a pull out bed right here. Couch. There was a carpet there but we picked it up because we don't want the dogs to go on it. This is the kitchen. Here's the bathroom. I don't know what that is supposed to be on the wall. Have you seen that? Me. What Look. is that? <laughs> okay. Oh, we need to put a candle in here. Um, <laughs> That's my favorite part. Uh, this is our room. So like I said, it's always an adventure with Lauren, Lydia, and Deb. It's always an adventure. We don't know what we're doing here or what we're going to do, but I'm just excited for a change of scenery, right guys? Of course. Yes. And we're gonna have the best time ever, right guys? Oh, look at that turkey. <laughs> Are you having so much fun? I dig it. 
I don't know about you guys, but I'm really hungry. So we got settled in. We're gonna go get some food now. I uh, found a place on Yelp called Cut. Ah, that's my favorite song. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go get some food. Okay, see you there. but we're getting groceries. Because I just ate a small village and I can't be doing that ever again because nice. I feel like I'm going to explode. Could you imagine if your parents were the face of Derby for you? <laughs> Go off. Or they don't even know each other, that's even better. <laughs> and that fire isn't even real, it's like a green screen. Oh my God, it totally is a green screen. I know it is. You can see the green tint in our hair. We're gonna get some wood to make, make a fire. It's always hot when I'm in the room, baby. There's a dock and water right there, and I didn't even know. I guess that's what it means when you get a lakefront cabin, but it didn't just, the dots didn't connect in my head, but yeah, there's water, sick. So we all just got into our cozy clothes, and now we're gonna watch 13 Reasons Why. We started it yesterday, and we brought our Apple TV <laughs> so we could watch it here. Good morning guys. So I just woke up. I look like an egg. <laughs> but I'm gonna get ready, brush my teeth, do my makeup, do a little get ready with me. And I think we're gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna take some pictures. Mom, do you have toothpaste? Yeah. Got him. Okay, so I'm doing a bit more makeup today than I did yesterday because I want to take pictures. I'm going to use my Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer. You guys know I like this stuff, especially because my face is like really dry. Beautiful, okay. Next, I'm going to use, shoot, I forgot my foundation. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, but I did forget my beauty blender. Do. Mom, do you have a beauty blender? Okay, so NARS foundation, foundation, <laughs> I say it like that. Now we're gonna use my NARS concealer and my Maybelline concealer. So I have the Age Rewind and the NARS concealer. <clears throat> and I'm gonna put the Age Rewind on first and then use the NARS concealer to brighten everything. Also, sorry the lighting's not the best. This cabin wasn't really made for makeup videos. Okay, so now I'm going to use my powder. Just go under my eyes and set where I put the concealer. I'm not gonna set my whole face though because I'm gonna put powder blush on and powder bronzer anyways. So there's no point to put more powder than I need. Okay, now we're gonna use the Milani Baked Bronzer and we're gonna go on the cheekbone. And then I'm gonna take this brush and go down the sides of my nose. And I do that super lightly. And then I go back in with my beauty blender and just blend it out. Cool. Right. Now we're gonna do eyebrows. And I'll come back to my face um, when I do my eyeshadow. But for now, we're gonna do our eyebrows with the Anastasia Brow Definer. I'm like using my arms balance. <laughs> I also forgot my eyebrow gel, so we won't be using that today, which is a shame. Okay, I feel like that's good enough. 
Next step, eyeshadow and blush. So I'm going to use the blush from this Tarte palette. It's called something. It's, it's the new fall palette. I don't really know what it's called. And I'm going to use my blush brush. And I'm going to go pretty ham because I really like blush. And I'm going to put a little tiny bit on my nose. And I'm not going to do eyeshadow today because I don't really feel like wearing eyeshadow. But I am going to do highlight. Then I'm going to do eyeliner. Which I need to be up close to the mirror to see. So you guys might not see this. I'm going to do my eyeliner and my eyelashes off camera. And I'll be back. Okay, so we're going for a walk around the village which sounds really spooky of the village have you guys seen that movie it's a good movie oh it's very bright outside who's excited there's so many fall decorations in here and i'm in heaven And it was blackberry lavender and it reminded me of something and I couldn't figure out what it reminded me of and I had Lydia smell it and it smells like these little microwavable sausage links <laughs> that I used to get when I was a kid. It literally smells just like it. The hot crimson rage fills my heart love for real. Shut the f up and sleep. <laughs> these books are like, go the f to sleep. You have to f me. You want me to read another one? But yeah, read me one more. No more questions. This interview's over. I've got two words for you, kid. Sleep. <laughs> I'm back in another crystal store because that's what I do. Every vlog is just gonna be me in a different in a different crystal store. But how cute! It's that time again. My favorite time of the day. What time is it? Food time. Baby. Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Bet you didn't even know it was me. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, so we just got back from shopping, so I figured I would do a little haul of the things that I got. They had some really cute clothing stores. So first I got these doggy pajama pants and they're so soft which is most of the reason that I got them because I'm a sucker for things that are soft and I got it to go with this little robe and it's gray which is my favorite color so it has a hood and it's really soft so I'm excited to wear these then I got this oversized sweater and it says 1980 on it and I think I'm gonna wear this tonight when the sun sets and take some pictures in it and I also got these pants which were way too expensive but I couldn't pass them up they're so cute definitely would have to wear like nude underwear with these and I'm just like walking around in the back say hi hi but they're like really lightweight really breathable and I love the belt okay so I bought a lot at this store I also got this jacket for the fall time which I think is so cute it's so soft and it's lightweight, so it's good for LA because LA doesn't get too cold, but it's cold enough to wear a jacket. So I got this one. It's really soft. Like I said, I love things that are soft. <laughs> Moving on, I got this in an XXL. It's a sweater, and it just says Big Bear Lake, which I thought was really cute. It's like this knit material, but it's really nice and soft on the inside. Basically, every, all the clothes that I bought are soft in some way. So much driving by. I bought all these clothes and then because we walked we had to leave them at the store and then pick them up with the car and when I went back to pick up the clothes I found this perfume and it smells so good it's called dead sexy and I don't even know how to describe it I went in I got the perfume the lotion the lip gloss and the rollerball I also have an obsession with things that smell nice I like when things smell good and I like to smell good. I think one of my one of my favorite compliments is you smell good because I feel like I can never tell what I smell like. So when someone tells me I smell good, it's like confirmation. So then I went to this crystal store and they had tons of crystal jewelry. And if you guys watch my last vlog or you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love crystals. So I got these 
I don't even know if you could see. I got these crystal earrings and this necklace, but I also got some other things. This keychain and this is amethyst. I also got an amethyst necklace and it kind of looks like a seashell necklace, but it's um, gemstones. This bracelet has a little star on it, which I thought was really, really cute and it has all different types of crystals. And last but not least, um, this is, I'm not sure what this is. It's clear though. And I don't know, I just love crystals. So when I come across a store that has crystals, I have to buy things. Oh, and I got this one. And this is rose quartz. <laughs> Moving on. Last piece of jewelry I got is the Visco Girl um, shell necklace. And I don't know, I just felt like I needed one. I felt like I needed this to fit in. And it's really cute, so get off my case. I got a nice tourist hoodie because I love gray hoodies and I also like getting hoodies when I travel. So this one is just the same as the sweater but in hoodie form and it's gray of course because I get everything in gray if it is an option. Oh and I got these sunglasses. I like them because they're pink. I kind of feel like Sharpay Evans in High School Musical. So that's all the stuff that I bought while I was shopping today and I think now we're gonna go change and sit on the dock so see you there. So I'm sitting here watching 13 Reasons Why and then I was informed that my neighborhood is on fire. So my mom's talking to people that live in our area about it and we're all really scared um, for our, our neighborhood and our house. We have the dogs, which is good, but hopefully they get it under control because I'm supposed to go home tomorrow. So I'll keep you guys updated. So I just took off my makeup and I'm Sitting here, I just finished watching 13 Reasons Why, and it was really good, but obviously it was a little bit hard to watch because I'm still super worried about the fire back at home. Um, hopefully we'll be able to go home tomorrow. Not really sure, but it seems like they're getting it contained, which is good. So we'll see what happens. I'm just praying that everyone in the area is safe. So far it said that no one's been injured, which is great. So I hope that everyone stays safe, and I think I'm going to head to bed pretty soon. If you guys aren't from California or you aren't aware, fires are pretty common here. You know, there's a lot of dry land, a lot of dry brush, and it doesn't take a lot to start a brush fire. But it can be really scary, especially because my whole life is out here now. So hopefully everything ends up being okay and we get to go home tomorrow and they get it contained, which is what I'm hoping for. But until then, I'm going to go to bed. I had a great day today, aside from the events of tonight. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the ride home. <laughs> Aren't you gonna get copyrighted? What's up guys? So it's Monday, which means it's our day to go home. It is safe for us to go home. The fire has mostly been contained. So I just wanted to say thank you and that I have so much appreciation for the firefighters and first responders that risk their lives to help situations like this. It was really scary and I'm very grateful that my house wasn't affected and that nobody in my area was affected, nobody was injured. So yeah, we get to go home today. I had a really fun trip and I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what else you guys want to see. The fall season is coming up, so I'm really excited to make some fall themed videos. But we're gonna head home, so I will see you guys in the next video where I will not be in a cabin in the woods. Thank you for watching. I love you. Mm -hmm.